Hi there, and this is Hoo-Ha Sports Today, a daily sports update and review show covering all that's happening in your world of football and beyond. As we look ahead to the Premier League weekend in today's week ending episode, a special one as there are four derbies lined up and we will preview one in particular. But before we do that, here's a recap at how they stack up in the standings. The two Manchester clubs are at the top, still without a loss. But it's hard to say what the atmosphere is like with City with the Carlos Tevez issue. While the two other undefeated sides are Newcastle and Aston Villa. Spurs are one or two teams that haven't settled for a draw. But things could change this weekend. Villa, meanwhile, are just the opposite with four draws in the last five. And well done to QPR with just one loss in five sees them in the top half. On the flip side, Everton, Wolves and Arsenal are tied on 7 points. Everton with a match in hand. But it's Wolves who have the worst record among those three, with three consecutive losses. Another pack of three consists of Sunderland, Wigan and Swansea. They are tied on 5 points as Wigan share the same stats with Wolves. Three straight losses. The final gang of threesome sees Fulham, Blackburn and West Brom all on 4 points. While Bot- Bolton, rooted at the bottom, are the other team that haven't drawn a match yet. But they have a 5-game losing streak with only one win, which came on opening day. So as mentioned, 4 derby games this weekend. 2 on Saturday and 2 London derbies on Sunday. And the big one most certainly has to be Spurs v Arsenal. But uh, it starts with the Merseyside derby. Take a look at these stats. Liverpool do start well, but Everton surely know how to play till the final whistle. 50% of their goals came in the last 10 minutes. Kenny Daglish should tell his boys not to lose concentration. Okay, to the rest of the fixtures. The other derby on Saturday is the lesser-known Birmingham derby between Aston Villa and Wigan. Leaders, or should I say Champions United, will take on Norwich, while the edgy City travel to meet Blackburn. But hey, even though if they leave out the Divas, Edin Dzeko included, they will have enough firepower with Samir Nazri, Sergio Aguero, David Silva and Mario Balotelli. While can Newcastle continue their unbeaten run when they play Wolves? Just maybe. On Sunday, sees Bolton having to face Chelsea. Then the first of two London derbies splits Fulham against Rangers. And the big one to wrap up the weekend is Spurs v Arsenal. Looking at the stats, well, you can take an extra longer break during half-time as neither team seems to score 15 minutes into the restart. But nearly 45% of Tottenham's goals come between the 60th and 70th minute. It's a nervy one as both sides seem to have regained their composure after a dreadful start to the season. And yes, time for my take on this weekend's fixtures. I believe the Merseyside derby will be a stalemate. Villa and United to pick up home wins while I feel there will be major upsets with away wins aplenty. And the Spurs Arsenal won to end in a draw. It'll be exciting, but a draw. So we will wrap up with a Fans Live Rewind, taking us back to November 20th, 2010. Spurs, who were 2-0 down at the Emirates, produced one of the most memorable comebacks. And it started with a certain prediction at halftime. Till next week from the team and I, have a great footballing weekend. Okay, if you want to ask me prediction, you know, we're going to win this game 3-2. Final score. Really? Yeah!